Here's what would happen if we nuked the moon. In 1958, during the Cold War, U.S. scientists and military officials drafted a top-secret mission to detonate a nuclear bomb on the lunar surface to scare the Soviet Union and boost American morale. They realized that landing on the moon first might be a better goal instead of blasting it. Plus, we didn't have enough power back then. But today, if we launched all our nuclear bombs combined to the moon, we'd be sending over 12,000 warheads with a total explosive power in the hundreds of thousands of megatons. The distance between Earth and the moon is about 384,000 kilometers, meaning our bombs could reach it in just a few days, depending on the rockets we use. As the first of our bombs exploded on the moon, you'd see a brilliant flash from Earth, visible to the naked eye. Since the moon has no atmosphere, the blasts would kick up huge clouds of dust, spraying debris into space. But there'd be no mushroom cloud, no shock wave, and no spreading firestorm. But detonating every nuclear weapon humanity has ever built still wouldn't do much to the moon. Our entire global arsenal wouldn't even scratch one trillionth of the energy needed to break the moon apart. All we'd manage to do is carve one more crater on a surface already full of them. And because it's already bathed in cosmic radiation every single day, one nuclear blast wouldn't change its radiation levels much. And it probably wouldn't send harmful fallout back to Earth either. In order to blow up the moon, we'd need close to 10 to 30 trillion megatons of TNT, something powerful enough to tear it out of its orbit and send chunks raining toward Earth. But the aftermath? would be catastrophic. Earth's tides would collapse. The oceans would surge in unpredictable patterns. Our seasons would warp and the planet's tilt could drift so badly that stable weather and life as we know it might not survive. So nuking the moon wouldn't save the world, win a war, or prove anything. At best, we'd carve one more crater. At worst, we'd doom our own planet because